Okay, morning code fans. Uh, this is the first attempt at making a video. Let's hope it works. Uh, today I'm going to talk about making a Talrox Prime for our na narrative campaign that me and Boss Blood 2 are playing called the Cipra Instant Birth of the Beast. Uh, I thought I'd do a video as opposed to pictures and the normal thing because hey, if you don't try something new, you always get the same outcome. The other thing I thought I'd try to show you is the fact that I also bought these. This is the suspension kit and wheels from Victoria Miniatures, uh, which are based in Australia. Uh, came really quick, really impressive service, good quality moulds, uh, and I'm really looking forward to making the vehicle using these additional bits. Okay, with the power of the internet of course I have managed in five seconds to completely build it. Um, it's impressive, my speed is quite good isn't it? Um, so some things to talk about so that when you have a go yourself or if you're thinking about getting one of these then you know what you're looking at. Right. So. First things first, let's have a look at the underneath, because this is the special bit, I suppose. This is the suspension kit. Some things I learnt as I went along, so if I hold it like that, you can see all the different parts of it. The rear section, really simple. Um, a bit of flash still to clean off there. Lazy Mike. Um, but, you know, I'll do that. Uh, the, the rear section is really simple. Um, I've chose to pin the wheels on. I feel that um, if not, easy to break. Uh, mixing resin and plastic, of course, you have to work with super glue. Okay, for the front section, I took this grill off because I left it off for painting purposes. Anyway, so you have a front section, a top section, and like a track rod, rod end here that goes into this centre section and onto the wheel. As before, I've, I've drilled and pinned both wheels. One of the things I would say, and I've got two sets of these, he says, this is how it comes. Right. Now, these sections here, these, these thin, what I call track rods, I don't know whether they are, I'm not a mechanic, you'd have to ask in a mech for that, um, they need to be cut to be adjusted to the right size and these wishbones suspension parts you actually get more than you need you actually get I'll show you I can get the camera where I want it you get six now um, what I noticed was these are slightly different shape to these um, and what I found is that these worked better on the top and these worked better on the bottom uh, and then you had to slightly cut I don't know about three mil off the off the track rod sections as I described earlier in order to get this finish okay easy pitfalls because I've done it very easy to make it wobble so when you are building your tank. Just have a think about how am I going to make sure I tight the wheel. And that is to do with the distance, the amount that you cut off or don't cut off, and how straight these wheels are. If you look at mine slightly, this one on the right here is slightly turned inwards, and that's what's created a situation of a slight rock. Along with the fact that the back ones aren't quite level. I mean, at the end of the day, it's resin you're working with, it's going to be slightly like that. Okay, other things about this tank as a whole. Um, I don't know if you can pick up really from the video, but it's really small. It really is quite a small tank. I've, you know, ten guys in them. Let's just compare standard Chimera to a Tower Rocks. Yeah, it's smaller. It's a lot smaller. Um, Lengthwise, not much difference. Widthwise, significantly 
So give them these more. Uh, some other cool things is you get really, really detailed crew. Now, with due respect, unless you want to make it so you can take the top off, painting that guy in there, you're not going to see. However, what I've done is I've made the effort to leave the, the top open so you can see the gunner. Uh, and also, because I play traitors, as you can see, I've changed his head. With the weapon options, you've got the Hotshot Laz, AP3, multiple shots, twin linked, good idea. You can change it for the auto cannon if you like, uh, which is free upgrade, if it depends what your usage of the gun is. And I've got the um, small battle cannon version on here. These, and I like this design, come off and they go back in and they hold really nicely. So you can easily change it out for the Gatling, so, like so, there we go, we have a Gatling, cool. You can also, and I'm going to do a bit of work so that this attaches and unattaches, have a Storm Bolter as an extra gun in there, in the side turret, okay. Okay, I hope you liked my brief description of Tower Rocks and particularly the Victoria Miniatures uh, add-ons. Um, Please make comments at the bottom. Bear in mind, first ever try at a video. Thank you. And hopefully, uh, not the last video to go on Code 40k. Um, certainly, it's proving a test run that maybe uh, myself and Boss Bloodtooth can use for the separate instant. So, um, look forward to your feedback. Cheers.